Hi, today we're going to make some crispy fried sardines using canned sardines. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas that have helped me to lose over 130 pounds. If you're new here, welcome. Hope you check out some of my other videos. For those of you returning, welcome back. I love that you're here and I hope you love today's video. Okay, so I've got everything here that we're going to use. This is a super simple recipe uh, to make crispy fried sardines. Now I wanna tell you first why I'm doing this. Um, I have recently done a 72 hour sardine challenge and that video followed me along for three days of eating nothing but sardines. So that video is going to be out Sunday. I was running this challenge in my Facebook group and what I discovered, much to my, not so much to my amazement, I'm just kidding, but a lot of people are like, I've never tried sardines, I'm a little afraid to try them, I can't imagine doing 72 hours. And I agree, if you've never tried them or maybe you've tried them once and you're like, oh, I just don't like them that much, you need a little more introduction. So I am going to be posting this recipe today and then next week I have another simple recipe. These are not suitable for the sardine challenge because that's you know, fairly plain sardines, but they are a great introduction to introducing people who are a little bit nervous to the wonderful world of sardines. Um, and also there is another recipe that I've already done, air fryer sardine bites, which I'll link below. So that'll be three, once I'm finished, uh, that'll be three introductory sardine recipes where people can, you know, just try it and get used to the whole idea of sardines. So I've got uh, Indigo Neely's uh, breading recipe here because I just found it to be so wonderful. Um, and I'm going to just divert you for a few seconds over to how, how I made it as well as I'm going to link below uh, her, uh, she has a printable recipe card that you can use, and that's what I use, um, uh, and it's just underneath her, her video of uh, how she came up with this. Uh, so uh, let's watch that first, and then we're gonna bread these sardines. I need to grind up some pork rinds, any type will do. That's what I had in my cupboard. I'm using my cheese grater, my rotary cheese grater, to grind them up. I like it the best of all the methods. And now I'm going to take some of those pork rinds to make the breading, one tablespoon of gelatin, half a cup of the egg white powder, three quarters of a cup of pork rinds all mixed together. I only will need about half a cup of this mixture for one can of sardines. The rest I'm going to save in a jar and uh, use for another time I want to make breading. Okay, so you saw how I uh, got to this point. I, uh, what I did was I measured out about a half a cup of the, of the breading. I, I'm thinking that's all we're gonna need for this. Uh, maybe not even that much. So I've got one can of bristling sardines. This is my favorite, these ones in the red pack. These are packed in extra virgin olive oil, King Oscar. Uh, I find I really like them. And I'm going to just open them up and drain off the oil. These are the little tiny ones. The tiny ones are better for the frying because they get nice and crispy. Okay, I'm gonna put a, an egg in here for dipping. All right, I was hoping to get them all out without breaking them, so I'm gonna have to be careful with this one. I kind of broke it a little bit. So once in the egg wash, just dip in the egg wash, and then in the crumbs, and then right here, 
I'm gonna lay them all out here and then bring over to the stove. I might break a few on the way. And you know, in the end, it doesn't really matter because uh, as long as you get them all in your mouth. All right. Okay, we've breaded them. Um, I neglected to put some seasoning on. Normally I would add something like Old Bay. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to just go ahead and fry these up and then I'm going to just sprinkle Redmond salt on it, which I, you know, is usually my preference anyways. Um, but feel free to add, you know, maybe a half a teaspoon of seasoning. The other thing was uh, I probably could have gotten away with either a third of a cup of the breading mix or a quarter cup. I just wasn't sure how much I was going to need. So I went with half a cup, but I have lots left in the bowl there. So feel free to use a little less. So, uh, just going to take this over to the stove. We're gonna go over there and fry these babies up. Okay, so I've got my ceramic cast iron pan here. You can definitely use a regular one. When I did the sardine challenge, I was frying up my sardines just using a regular one. Um, so uh, this is bacon grease. You can use uh, tallow. Butter was good when I tried it with butter. Um, you don't need to be, like you don't need enough as, as if you were going to be deep frying because we will flip them. Uh, I'm just using enough to make sure I have, you know, a good amount of grease here. And uh, yeah, I, I got bacon bit pieces in here. This might be, uh, this might taste really good. Um, I like to use this because, I mean, butter, you know, it's in that $9 a pound range around here. This is free. I just poured it off after making bacon. So you can't beat that price. Just letting that heat up so that it's nice and hot. I'm gonna grab my sardines. And here they are, ready to go in. Let's uh, test it with some excess bread in here. Oh, it's almost hot enough. You want it to really, you want it to be hot enough so that when you throw that first sardine in, you can really hear the sizzle. So we're almost there. And the sardines, these little tiny ones, they are somewhat fragile. So I'm going to, you know, rather than use tongs, I'm gonna be using, you know, other tools in order to flip them easier. And I'm going to even put them in like this. Okay, I think that should be good now. Yeah, there we go. Try not to have them touch each other. Um, otherwise you get them sticking together, which isn't the end of the world, but. So I've got this on uh, high, just a slight bit under high. I might have to turn it down once they get going, we'll see. But you be the judge of your own situation. Okay, that is one whole can of sardines. Now the sardines are already cooked once they come out of the can, so we're not trying to, we don't need to leave them a long time to cook the insides because they're already cooked. So it's really just a matter of, you know, checking to see if they're browning on the other side and then just flipping them over. Yeah, so once they're deep fried like this, I think you'll find that when you pick them up, you know, with a fork or whatever, they're not gonna fall apart as much as they did when I was trying to bread them. Right here. I'm gonna give that about a minute. I'm just going to cover it so that, uh, I mean, it, you know, it's splattering a little bit and that'll help. No, 
Okay, these are looking pretty good. I'm going to turn this off. I mean, if you wanted to brown them a bit more, you could, but I kind of like the looks of them at this point. So, all right, I'm gonna put them on paper towels here. I'm excited about these. I love sardines though, I could probably eat them anyway. Now during the sardine challenge, I was making crispy sardines, but I was not using a bread in. And I thought maybe for some of you that are not quite there yet, the breading might help things. Okay, here they are. So some ideas for uh, eating them. You could uh, just take some lemon and kind of squeeze it on. This is the dressing I made for the sardine challenge. You'll see this coming up in the video, the, the, the Sunday's video of the 72 hour challenge. It is basically olive oil or avocado oil, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of yellow mustard and Redmond salt. Just make, just make a dressing out of those things. But let me just grab the salt. All right, I want some salt on here. Let's try these. I want to try it with both the lemon and the sauce. Uh, just to see. Just want to get a little squeeze. Okay. Let's get a little one here. Okay, this one I'm just going to squeeze a bit of lemon on. You don't have to. Just have salt or nothing. Mm. I think for those of you who just can't, you know, see yourself eating sardines, this could possibly change your mind. So I'm going to try it with a little bit of my sauce. Let me get, let me get a bigger one. I just, this sauce saved me during the 72 hour challenge. Okay. Mm. Love the sauce. <laughs> I like the sauce, I like the lemon, um, but you know, you can kind of do what you want with it. Um, maybe, maybe make, uh, if you've got some other type of sauce, tartar sauce, if you have a keto tartar sauce of some kind that you make, that would be wonderful too. So there it is. Uh, uh, it's a way to introduce you into the world of sardines, get those omega-3s in. Um, watch for my 72 hour challenge coming up because uh, you, you won't believe the ketone results. And, and I, th I'm now on day three or four, I think after. My ketones are still elevated. My blood glucose is still down from where I started on day one. And so there's something magical about sardines. I've been calling it the sardine effect. It just does something. I don't know if it's the omega-3s or if it's just having that influx of them for the 72 hours, but uh, I hope that this recipe helps and that you enjoy it. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Hang on a second, where am I gonna put the sardines? Hee <laughs> hee.